Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back for a special shed, a special Father's Day shed. If you're a father out there, happy Father's Day. If you're not a father, you're a son, you had a father, didn't you? Basically, if you're watching this video, you had a father. And big shout out to them. If you are a father, step up. Critical times, guys. Your families need you. <laughs> Women and children are under attack like never before, aren't they? And it's up to us as men to stand up and protect our families. There you go. <laughs> Rant over. Have you seen the thumbnail? We've got a... Oh, Look at the size of that thumb. See the, the thumbnail, right? We've got a good one lined up for you today. What I'm going to be using, soap and splash. There you go. Dylan. It's just called Dylan. I nearly said Dylan Blue. I got this from the Razor Company. Master Soap Creations and Razor Company collaboration. There it is. Oh, it smells absolutely fantastic, guys. Um, here it is. I'll give you a quick brief. Dylan, Master Soap Creations, new collab base. Um, uh, it's an aromatic woody fougere with fresh aquatic notes. Now, listen to these notes, guys, carefully. Yeah? Pay attention to these notes. Calabrian bergamot, grapefruit, fig leaves. Uh, it's got a heart of violet leaf, papyrus and wood, patchouli, black pepper and ambrox with base notes of tonka bean, incense and saffron. Absolutely beautiful. That's what that is. I got the full set. See this red banner here? 10% off from Father's Day. I want to say thank you to the viewers who used my link to the razor company. And all it does is take you there. That's all it does. I can't stress this enough. I've had more emails about this than anything else. People say, well, they get my details. You'll have my... No, no. All it does is it tells the Razor company, you went there from this video. If you subsequently spend something while that window's open, they give me a commission. Helps the channel. It's all gets spent on the channel. A couple of these have done it this past couple of weeks. Thank you to both. I don't know who you are, but thank you to you. There you go. There you Master Soap Creations. There you go at the Razor company. That's the soap and splash we're using today i put some in look this is a razor company ball i think i put some in here to show you it's very very soft i was going to spread it around but i thought i'd wait and do it on camera look i'm hardly pressing you see the consistency guys it is it is a very very soft cream indeed scent strength i would put this at about a six it feels absolutely beautiful Never used it before, so I don't know what it's going to be like once it's lathered. I've used Master Soap Creations before, and that generated an exceptional lather. One of the best lathers I've used, actually. Uh, Master Soap Creations is good stuff. So I've got that in there. We'll whip that up after. We're going to be using... There, look. Yaki 26mm blue brush. Look at that beautiful knot. That was gifted to me by Christopher Thompson. Hello, Christopher, and thank you. Absolutely wonderful. Let's see. It doesn't pick it up very well, but it's got its dark blue with a, a lighter blue marbling effect. Absolutely wonderful. And put that in the official John Shaves Super Soaker. We've got the Yaki DLC. If you don't know, DLC stands for Diamond Like Coating which is the paint that they put over this, I think. There you go. This is a Yaki, I think it's called a Yaki Melon. I've only ever known it as Yaki DLC. I'm gonna put in there a Gillette Platinum Blue. Do you see a blue thing developing here, guys? Do you see a blue? Oh, last week in the shave I was doing this and very nearly sliced off the tip of my finger. Could you imagine my boss's face? I can't, I can't come in. The thumb's healed, but I've sliced it. I've sliced the tip of that off. There you go. It's lasered on, uh, but it's very, very thin. Can you see it? I'm going to put that in there. Now, from memory, this razor's a really, really, really good shaver. And I was gifted this, and I can't remember who. I'm so sorry. 
But I had one, so what I did was I gave mine away and I kept the one I was gifted. I'm very particular about that. I don't give gifts away. I, I just don't do it. Somebody's been kind enough to gift me something, I'll keep it. If it's soaps and splashes till it's all gone, if it's razors and brushes and whatever else it is, I'll keep it and use it until I'm not here anymore. There you go. <laughs> you keep it. Let's see. Get that in there. Uh, we're going to balm up. Check this out, guys. My son bought me Versace Dylan Blue, the real deal. EDP. We're going to put that on after the splash. So I bought this Versace Dylan Blue. Now, this was expensive, guys. It was expensive, but I've opened it and used it. Uh, and I rubbed it on the back of my hand the day it came. It came at about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and it smells just like the EDP, just like the aftershave, the cologne. It's got that, that Versace scent, very, very strong. I rubbed it on the back of my hand. I could smell it eight hours later. I went in the shower. When I got out of the shower, I was sat having a cold drink an hour or two later. I could still smell it on the back of my hand. So this is expensive. I think this was about £30. But do you know what, guys? Me personally, I think it's worth it. So that's what we're going to do with the balm there. Whew. Right, so we'll wet the face. Hey, Willy Wong Gloves back in town. We'll wet the face. Uh, and then also we'll see, we'll see. Uh, that Mark Davis, by the way, gifted me that. I don't know if I said that. Thank you, Mark. Mark gifted me quite a lot of stuff. There you go. Here you go. Look at that. Seconds, guys. Seconds. There was about an almond size in there, but this brush is actually quite dry. So what we'll do is we'll get a whip up and then we'll dip the tips. And then, so how is everybody doing this Father's Day? The video's out a little bit later. Um, had my granddaughter staying over and then I had to go and see my other grandchildren because uh, they have gifts for me uh, and my son had that gift for me uh, and he didn't want to give it me till today uh, and I wanted it to be in the video so what I did was I just postponed the video uh, for a couple of days uh, and there you go look at that guys camera Camera doesn't lie. Hmm. Now I normally lather straight from the tub, but in this instance, the soap was so soft, I thought that may not be a very good idea. Um, but on that note, it's ferociously hot here and I haven't had it anywhere cool. I've just had it sat in my bedroom, which even at night when we go to bed, it's been 64, 65 degrees it's just relentless so that's why it's soft i would imagine once it cools down it will be a lot more stable so it's no slight on the salt that the scent strength like i said i would put it about a six hasn't really diminished any and it does smell it does smell exactly like versace dylan blue uh, if you like Dylan Blue, you will like this. You will. Okay, here we go. Let's get a, a wriggle on. How's everybody doing? Oh, I bought some. Um, what's your slurp of the day? It's Sunday. Are you having a drink tonight? I normally say, What's your slurp? Some people drink on a Sunday. I tend not to because I have work in the morning. And being a driver, I don't want any alcohol in my system left over when I'm driving. Because I will go to bed at about 10 p.m. tonight and I'll be up five and a half hours later. Six hours later I'll be driving to work, so uh, I don't drink. But my slurp last night, I bought Barefoot Jammy Red. Uh, oh, guys, it's like... Um, it, it, it's much, much weaker than Jam Shed. It's very, very, very light. Very, very light indeed. Um, 
it's drinkable, but I won't be getting it again. <laughs> oh, it's not jam shed, put it that way. Mm. But yeah, let me know what you slow for the day. Let me know what your shave of the day is. Uh, let me know if you've got anything, anything planned for Father's Day. Let me know if you've tried this Dylan Blue, or if you intend to. If you are thinking of anything, getting anything from the uh, razor company, today might be the day to do it with the 10% off. Uh, but if not, I'd just like to thank you uh, for using that link, because it does, it helps the channel. All the commission. I think I may actually have told you, the last lot of commission I got, it, it, it was exactly the amount that I had to pay for postage to send just Lance a couple of razors. Uh, and I wasn't, I was expecting the postage to be about six, six pounds. When I got over there, it was 18, 18 pounds. But by sheer coincidence, three or four people had gone on the razor company website, bought stuff, and my commission was about 18 pounds when it came through. Oh, I don't like this heat, guys. My wife, my wife's not happy with me because I just keep saying, I do not, do not like this heat at all. Somebody was saying where they lived, it was 110. I, I would just literally die in that heat. Uh, Mm. Yeah, I think the highest I can take without dying is 30 Celsius, which is about 86 degrees in all my life. Uh, but there you go. The blade's performing really well. This razor is a strange one because this is behaving exactly like my last one. Very good shave, very efficient shave. But it must be a change in my beard because several of my razors, which I thought were medium well. See, I grade my razors like I grade, I grade my steaks. You've got rare, medium rare, medium, medium well and well, right? So, <laughs> and this, I, I would grade it as medium rare, slightly above, slightly above medium. But then it slipped right back down. It slipped right back down to rare. It's just gone really, really mild. So maybe, maybe let me know if you've had similar issues to that yourself. Where a razor felt really efficient. And then over time he used it and it was like, I don't remember this being like that. Because that's exactly what, what happened with me with this. Uh, we'll do the slick test. Yeah, it's very, very slick. Fernando and the razor company know what they're doing when it comes to... Look at this, look. Look, can you see the sheen on that lather? Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at this, lather mittens, here we go, lather mittens, let's have a feel, I don't know why I'm doing it with it, can't feel anything, yeah, yeah, it gives a good shave, just not quite there, just not quite there with the aggression, and it, it's a weird one, like I said, because it used to be, you know, but... We'll get it. Gonna be careful because this neck area is a problem for me in more ways than one. I get the usual suspects here, but if I overshave it when I sit down later on, I have a big red only there, only ever there, big red ring of irritation. Uh, and I don't know how you treat that. Would you treat it? 
but I know what works for me. A bit of talcum powder. I usually get, look at I'm sweating like a bull. I usually run an ice block over it, cool it down at the inflammation down, then get it completely and utterly patted dry. Plate utter, utter dry like that. And then liberal amounts of talcum powder on it. Uh, and it works it works for me every time. Oh, can't wait till this has gone. Okay, we've not, <laughs> we've not finished, have we? Come on, yeah, come on, we'll do the leaning. We'll do the leaning. Look at that guys. Look. We did okay, didn't we? We got a good shave. Much better than it looked before. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? We'll go with the splash. Splash. Oh, oh I gotta put it in there. Oh. What? Did you see that? Did the camera catch that then? That's quite uh that's got quite a gloopy consistency. Did you see that? That was Oh yeah. Wow. Mmm, smells fantastic. That was quite skin foody. Let me know if you've had it, if that's um if that's how it's meant to be. That was quite quite thick, quite syrupy. Oh, it was. There you go. But well, smells absolutely fantastic. I think Master Soap Creations are on a winner with that one. Oh look at this once again look it just came flying out i think what it is guys it's the heat isn't it mm, things aren't behaving things aren't behaving in this heat oh my word let me know let me know what your shapes of the day are here we go thank you father's day gift mm. There you go, absolutely wonderful. I'm not going to put more than that on because I'm not going anywhere. So there you go, look. Yeah. We did okay, didn't we, guys? We did okay. Father's Day shave. Look after yourselves, everybody, and each other. And remember, the world needs men. So stand tall, shoulders back, chest out, and be a man. And I will see you on Wednesday for the Wednesday shave. Take care guys, bye.